Well, six months ago, the Schumann family lost everything in the Atkins Avenue fire. It was the second home Paul and Lori Schumann lost in four years. As News 13's Thomas Schultz tells us, the couple is str still trying to pick up the pieces of their lives. Lori and Paul Schumann's home burned down six months ago in the Atkins fire. They've been trying to move forward ever since. Our lives have been turned up, upside yeah. down. Everything was destroyed. This was the second time the Schumanns had to start over. They also lost another home in Hurricane Michael. We had to go out and buy all new furniture and get her new clothes. I'm still wearing my, I'm still wearing all donated clothes. Paul bought his first two pairs of pants on Friday, but that's just a start. These drawers here are empty. He has no clothes. <laughs> Oh, I got one pair of long pants there. But clothes are replaceable. The Schumanns say they'll never replace their old home. And that's not the only thing they'll never recover from. It's not going to be like the last one. We miss our pool. We've yeah. talked about that several times, our pool and our and Bella's the worst. Closure. Bella still hurts. Bella was the Schumann's dog who died in the yeah. fire. And while the couple is still trying to decorate their home. There's nothing on the walls in here. Two pictures of Bella hang in the living room. As the Schumanns try to move forward, they added a new pup to the family. Our doctor gave us him. He just had a haircut yesterday, two days ago. But the trauma still lingers. I still have night terrors. Oh, I got PTSD from the fire. I'm on a medication for it. He had to catch me well, about a month ago. I had a had a, a night wake, terror where um, I was acting out my dream. And I ran into the wall because I was thinking of my old house. And I was chasing, trying to catch my dog. Both are triggered by smoke. I smell smoke. I, I totally freak out. Three weeks ago, the couple had a freak out moment. We both smelled smoke out, out here. About, um, about two weeks ago? About two, three weeks ago, something like that. And I went on the hunt. Yeah. <laughs> We started looking. Thankfully, the smoke wasn't a concern. They moved into their new home in late May, but they're still adjusting to the change. I want my old house back. I really do. I mean, I was comfortable. I was happy there. Their old house and their old life. When I'm trying to do things around here, getting situated, I find myself wanting to go get something I owned. Remembering I don't own it no more, I got to go buy it again. It's like last week, we we're looking. Excuse me. I'm like, oh, the pencil sharpener's in the office. No, oh, we ain't. don't have a pencil sharpener anymore. But bit. By bit, they're rebuilding the lives that were destroyed. In Lynn Haven, Thomas Schultz, News 13, Panhandle Strong. The Schumanns plan to open up a smoke shop in a few months. They are currently scouting locations for the business.